So now that we have the reporting services downloaded, we can go ahead and download Report Builder, which is gonna be the application on top of it that allows us to actually build reports and publish them then to the server. So let's go to this link here and click Download. Save. I'll have this link in the description. And once it's complete, open it up and run it. Next. Accept the terms. This is okay to leave as the default. It's just where it's putting the files. And we can leave this as the default as well because in our last video, we just kept the target server URL as the default. So we don't need to touch this. And then install. And that's it, it's done, finish. So let's open it up. Okay, report builder. Here we are. So let's make a report. Okay, so let's go to blank report. This is not going to be anything thorough here. So the first thing we need to do is connect to a data source. And in our case, it's gonna be our AdventureWorks database. And we could actually do our rep performance table that if you've been following along in the video series, we've built on our own. So right click, add data source. So we'll see here, I've actually done this before, but we will still do it from scratch. So let's click here and do use an embedded connection and we'll call this AdventureWorks. Connection type, SQL Server. And what we can do here, we can actually just click build. This will help us out. Server name. Again, our server name is your machine name, backslash, and then in our case, demo. That's the instance. We can keep this as ourselves because we made ourselves the admin, so there should be no rights here or no permissions issues here. And what database? We can click AdventureWorks. It automatically is pulling it up because we put this server, it knows what's on the server. So AdventureWorks, test. Okay, great. So now this is set up, we've connected and we can, we can start to pull a report from it. Okay, so now we've connected, but we don't have any data. We just have access to this. So what we need to do is add a data set. So right click, add a data set. We'll call this rep performance data. And we will do an embedded one in the report. So this is going to look at anything we have here and allow us to pick from it. So we'll do AdventureWorks. Now in here is where we're actually gonna write the query. And what I usually recommend is that you actually write this query out in Management Studio or somewhere else, and then just copy and paste it in. But in our sake, because we know it's such a simple table, we can just write it in here. So we will do select, uh, normally you would put all of the column names, but I'm just going to put, I'm just going to put all from demo.rep performance. Again, this is the table we've built. If you haven't been following along with the video series, you put whatever you want and whatever columns you pick here. So I'll put specific columns, ID, employee ID, sales quantity, sales revenue, and, and we'll leave an order year. That's the last one. And now click OK. And it worked. Otherwise, you would get an error. So now what we can do here, we'll add a title, rep performance. Let's make this bold. And insert a table. We'll, we'll just display the results here. If you click this guy here, it will it will find it. ID, or you could drag it. Right click, add some columns. It's very similar to Excel, which makes it a little easier. Just gonna add these in here. We don't need this. All right, let's give this a little styling. Okay, now let's see. If we click run, it should run the whole thing and give us results. There we go. We've connected successfully to our database. 
AdventureWorks, wrote a query to get certain columns to retrieve a result set and then display the result set here as a report. So back to design and let's save this. It'll save, you can go here, re recent sites and servers. Go to your reporting server and save it. And we'll call this rep performance report and save. So now if we go back to our reporting server and more specifically the web portal URL, it may take a second, but that report should now show up. Let's, there it is. And if we click on it, we are able to access it. So if you think about now you have the ability to create whatever data you want in your database, connect report builder to that data and then build a report and you can build multiple ones. You can do all sorts of stuff. You can add parameters and it's really at this point up to your imagination, what you want to do. And with this, we'll end this video. We'll have another one later on a little bit more in depth on reporting services and on report builder. But for now, this is all we're going to cover uh, for this video. So thanks for watching.